Hey guys, it's Bridgette with San Diego Seed Company, and today I want to talk about zones, okay? It is something that I'm always talking about, and for those of you who might be new gardeners, or, you know, maybe you just haven't been exposed to plant zones, you might not know what I'm talking about. So I'm gonna go into everything that you need to know about plant zones, why they matter, where they came from, and how it pertains to us as a seed company and you as a gardener. Now, before I get into that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you're notified anytime we put out a video. Okay, so, those of you that know me, watch our videos, know who we are, I'm always talking about gardeners of zone nine and 10. And if you are brand new to us, <coughs> sorry. <coughs> I think I ate a bug. Okay, sorry. <coughs> if you are brand new to us or brand new to gardening, you might be like, what is this zone stuff that she's talking about? Well, I've got a cool map here and we're gonna go into like fifth grade science class and I'm gonna talk about zones and what they mean and why they were created. So this is a map of the United States and you can see here that we've got numbers on different areas of the United States. And basically what it is, is these are zones that were created to give a general idea of what the weather patterns are in different parts of the United States. This was originally created by the Department of Agriculture so that farmers could have an idea of what is hardy in their region. And what hardy means is basically, can something grow with the, those extreme lows or highs in that particular area? Now this was created a very long time ago. Don't quote me, somebody can Google it, but I wanna say it was like, you know, 1920s, 30s, this system was, was put together. And it's a very generic system. The idea is to just get a, just a baseline idea of how cold it gets in that particular region. You could see by the map over here in uh, Alaska, very cold temperatures. You can see Hawaii, zone 11. So we've got um, 10, 9, 11 in this area, much warmer annual temperatures. You can see them listed here. Now the areas I'm really going to focus on are all these pretty orange and pink kind of areas here. This is zone 9, 10, and zone 8. And the reason why I talk about these areas so much is because it is our area of expertise. We live down here in this tiny little pink area zone 10, and a good chunk of the southern states in, in the United States and the coastal areas are zone 9, 10, and even 8. These are areas that you can see from the list here, their annual low is not that low. So for like zone 10, we rarely dip below freezing. Zone nine rarely dips below 20 degrees. Zone eight rarely dips below 10 degrees. Now, I'm gonna say all of this with a caveat. The world is changing, as we know, and this was created a long time ago. So it's a general idea. Don't hold me to every single exact degree. As we unfortunately are experiencing with climate changes, this may not always pertain to our actual reality. But the general idea still stands that in zone 10, we are a very mild climate. We rarely get that cold. Uh, zone nine rarely gets uh, you know, below freezing and so on. And now why does that matter to you? Why do you guys even care? Well, because the plants that will grow and thrive in hot regions like zone nine and 10 are going to be very different than things that thrive, say in my home state of Kansas. You can see here, this is zone, mostly zone six. We even have a little bit of zone five almost there on the border. And the plants that grow in those zones are going to be very different because they, are, uh, they can be exposed to very cold temperatures or they even require very cold temperatures to grow. I'll give you an example like uh, tulips. You know, they need cold temperatures to vernalize, to bloom. Well, if you don't vernalize your tulips down here in zone nine and 10, they're not gonna bloom. Garlic is a good example. For those of you who purchased garlic from us, you know that we sent you a little note that says, make sure that your garlic cloves go in the fridge for 60 days to guarantee they were exposed to enough cold to uh, you know, basically sprout and give you garlic, garlic bulbs at the end of the year. So our growing needs and requirements are very different than other parts of the United States. Not that I don't love every zone, you people up in zone four, you're amazing. I don't know how you grow up there, but 
God, I love you. You can do it. Us down here, we're total babies. If it dips below like 40 degrees, we have like burkas on and sweaters and you know, it's California. So, but basically that is what zones are. And if you were in a nursery and you're buying a plant, a lot of times you'll see on the plant, it'll say hardy to zone and whatever that zone is. Meaning that it can grow in that zone um, and it can stand those, those cold temperatures, those drops. All of this information is great, but to throw a wrench in it and make it more confusing, there's a different zone system that was put together by Sunset and it uses very different numbers. And I think this has led to very uh, confused gardeners because their zones uh, are higher numbers, you know, 12, 13, all the way up to 30s. Uh, and so if you look in the Sunset Gardener magazine, if you're looking through that, those numbers are gonna be very different. That is a different set of zones, not to be confused with these. So this is the good old fashioned United States Department of Agriculture zone system, and it goes from one to 11. And there's even a 12 for some tropical areas. I think um, Puerto Rico is in like the 12. So uh, think of it this way, one, very cold, going down to 10, much warmer temperatures, longer growing seasons, and rarely freezes. So in a nutshell, that's what zones are. And if you're a gardener, even if you're not a gardener, this is great information to know. Like I said, it's kind of fifth grade science. It is gonna help you in your gardening journey and also just understanding the climatic conditions of different parts of the United States.